Okay, in this image we're really going to demonstrate the Camera Raw 7 and how powerful it is. This image is a little bit overexposed. Actually, it's a lot <laughs> overexposed. So uh, let's just go ahead now and basically let's take the exposure down and see what we've got. As we bring it down, we're trying to figure out what we're even looking at. Ah, it's a little scorpion fish and it's on a sea cucumber. Now, I have a feeling the white balance is probably not going to work because almost every area in here, see they're all there. That did balance it out a little bit. Now we can back the exposure up just a little bit. Let's just go ahead and take some black now and put some black in it. Let's take the highlights way down so we have detail on the highlights. Let's take all the detail down on the whites and now bring the exposure back up just a little bit. Let's add some contrast to it. Get some contrast. And now let's go ahead and slide the clarity over. Get some clarity in it. Okay, maybe a little bit of vibrance. Okay, too much right there. Now I think we're getting pretty close. Let's move the exposure back and forth to see where we want. Now, do you remember what it looked like before? Let's just go up and see. Wow, that is a huge change. We actually were able to pull this one out. Here's another one, a completely overexposed nudibranch. Uh, let's just go ahead and take the exposure down first and let's see what we can do with it. Eh, it's starting to pull some detail in. I'm not sure if we can do a white balance. Let's try it somewhere, maybe right here. Oh, that's not it. How about right? Uh, well, it won't let me do it because it was so white before. There, I actually got it. There was a gray in there. Now, I want to get some highlights pulled in there. So let's pull this down. And I want the whites in there. I need to pull that down. And then maybe even add some blacks in there. Get some black to this. Now, it's a little dark. So I'm going to bring the exposure back up now that I've worked on this. Now, we have some camera artifacts showing up in here. So let's just go ahead and go up here to our retouch brush. And just click and drag it. And it will click and drag click and drag click and drag just get rid of these really quick I think that's pretty much it okay now we if to get rid of those just click on another tool it'll go away okay I think we're getting pretty close uh, we may need just a little bit more black now that we've adjusted everything and I want to check the temperature now. I want to move it back and forth to see if I get a better one. That's too warm. And that's and that's actually a little, whooped right about there. Now let's look at the before and after on this one. That's incredible. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over to the detail. I want to sh sharpen this up a little bit. So, oh, there we go. I'm going to sharpen it up. And we actually need to be at one to one. You always need to be at one to one when you're sharpening. I use the space bar to bring it over here. Okay, I'll just go ahead now and see how much we can sharpen this. We can actually sharpen it quite a bit. Now we're picking up a little noise right there, so let's just take the luminous noise over, knock some of that noise down. There we go. Now look at that. You can see all the little fine lines in there. If we look at the before image, and the after, see it's just a tiny bit of sharpening on that. Okay, let's go back to fit. There, there we go. And let's go to that tool right there. And let's just do the before and after. When you're working in the camera raw, and when you do the before and after, it doesn't look like there's much. It's only showing the difference on the sharpening. What you have to do is go back to where you adjust, adjusted the image, which is over in the basic. And now if you do the before and after, it shows the before and after on that part. And that's a dramatic change. Most of the images we looked at Camera Raw 7 have been overexposed, so let's take a look at, at an underexposed image. So first thing we need to do is bring the exposure up a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and bring it up in density. And let's go ahead now and take the white balance tool and click on an area that's pretty neutral. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead now and add some black to the scene. It's a little on the blue side, so let's just go ahead now and take some of that blue out with the slider right here right about there we can take the exposure back up just a tiny bit now it looks like there's a tiny bit of magenta in there so let's just back off on it a little bit there we go add some contrast to it and a little bit of clarity to it and a little bit of vibrance to it now we're about ready to make our final color adjustment so it looks again like it went a little blue so let's just slowly work our way warmer 
until we get to a point where it looks pretty good. That looks pretty good right there. Now, uh, let's see what we've got before and after. Yeah. Okay. We want to go ahead now and take the uh, retouch brush up here, spot removal tool. You just click and drag over these areas that are somewhat annoying and clean this image up just a little bit before we look at the final before and after. And this was a dark image. Now we could actually go in. There's a little bit of noise going on on this. Let's just check the noise level. We can fix that real quick. Let's just go ahead and go to 100% because you always have to be at 100% when you're doing it. Okay, let's, there. See, there is quite a bit of noise there. So I'm going to go back and just go to the Move tool there. And let's go over to Detail. And the first thing I do is remove some of the luminous noise. See, it's taking it down. See that right there? It's taking it down. Now, it's going to be sort of a trade-off between sharpening and noise reduction to get this image cleaned back up. I'm going to sharpen up. It's going to sharpen up the detail in here. And the noise reduction is going to keep the grain down. Okay, let's go ahead and look at... Now, this is only going to preview this area. So, let's just go ahead and see what we've got so far. See how much noise is in there? Quite a bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to this. And let's look at the before and after here. That's a before, and there's the after. And let's just go ahead and go back to Fit in View, and let's do the before and after again. Okay, great change. It works, the Camera Raw 7 works really well on underexposed images and overexposed. It does a really great job with noise reduction and uh, brightness.